current wise man to our tribal chief. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, Paul Heyman. How are we doing? We still doing this? uh, We still doing this? This? Are we still the ones? Oh, absolutely. We're still the ones. Well, of course we're the ones. Okay, all right. I just want to make sure. And when it comes to ESPN, sir... You the one. No, 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 no. People saying a lot of different things about that there, Paul. <laughs> yeah. People saying a lot. Of- uh, you know, the bigger you get, Mr. McAfee, the more they're going to come after you. Let them come after you with everything they got because what they got doesn't compare to what you got, sir. <laughs> oh, oh. Yes, sir. That sounds from experience of a man that's been at the top for a very long time. Let's talk about being at the top. Royal Rumble is obviously an event that can catapult and change careers. Roman Reign is at the top of the mountain. They're talking about building a different Mount Rushmore for this man. Rock just said that the other day on first take because of his greatness but when you think about the royal rumble on saturday night what's at stake for some of these superstars why should people who maybe don't follow the wrestling world as much maybe tune in on saturday to electricity for three hours or so because it is the most unpredictable event of the year and i don't just mean in wwe or in sports or entertainment or sports entertainment you just don't know what's going to happen and and here's here's the the most exciting part about it we don't know what's going to happen because there's so many variables when you have potentially 30 people in the ring at the same time now the likelihood of all 30 being in there by the time the 30th man or woman comes out is 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 small with that many hands and feet running around the ring things can go wrong and as vince mcmahon used to say huh. what can possibly go wrong on live television so it's it's not only an unpredictable event it's, it's an event where more conspiracy theories come out in the media oh. by people who have knowledge of the inside tracking saying here it is Here's your spoiler. Here's what's going to happen. Here's what's going to happen at WrestleMania. They're all wrong. And because everyone's trying to understand the dynamics, the plots, the storylines, the inter the interchanges of the interchanges that happen at the Royal Rumble that then propel you into the biggest show of the year, WrestleMania. It'd be like me telling you, what was going to happen over the weekend in, 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 when, when you had the two hottest, youngest quarterbacks in the NFL battling against each other and were saying, hey, I'll tell you what the score is going to be an hour before the game. Everybody thinks they know, but nobody truly knows, and you don't know until it's over. And that game can change your career forever and your legacy, just like the Royal Rumble has the opportunity to do that. The road to WrestleMania starts at the Royal Rumble, and potentially a road to a legacy remembered forever in wrestling starts at the Royal Rumble this Saturday as well for many. 30 superstars, well... Probably 20 superstars can change the trajectory of their entire career. 10, normally, big names, Hall of Famers, legends come back. But there's a group, 20 or so, that can change everything for their family and for their future. Where an unknown can become a legend in one move. It's where someone, I mean, can you imagine the publicity of someone who throws, someone who is right now, I would say, favorite to win is CM Punk. So what happens if some unknown, someone from NXT, someone that comes in from out of the blue, someone that comes in from another promotion, someone that hasn't been around in years, throw CM Punk over the top rope or Cody Rhodes over the top rope? Well, what happens if if, if a surprise comes in and you go, my God, this is the surprise that's going to win and go on to WrestleMania against Roman Reigns or against Seth Rollins, and that surprise gets dumped over the top rope. Gunther gets thrown over the top rope. Now, if it's by CM Punk or Cody Rhodes, I understand that. But what if it's by an unknown? What if it's by someone you've never seen before? What if it's by a, a, a returning legend? What if it's from someone from, who, who comes in from another promotion? I mean, and all of a sudden, you have Gunther breathing down someone's neck. Yeah, here we go. The, the, there, there are so many variables in the Royal Rumble match itself, let alone in the Royal Rumble event, with Roman Reigns defending the title in a fatal four-way match, which oh. has been designed. How'd you let that happen? Paul, how'd you let that happen? You're the wise man. Come How on. You've been around the business a long time. Roman doesn't even have to get pinned. He loses his title. Yeah. He's had it for over 1,200 days. Doesn't even, doesn't even have to get pinned. He's taking on Randy Orton, what? LA Knight. What? And AJ Styles. 
and a if, former champion in and of himself. And if any of but them pin each other, Roman that. Reigns is no longer the champion. You let that happen. Come on. That's on your watch. That's on you. I didn't think you would ever That's let that it. happen. And which is why I'm not even wearing a tie today. I'm nervous as hell. I'm, I'm schwitzing all over the place around here. <laughs> it's you know, here's what happened. We we have a villainous James Bond in all this. Nick all this. Okay. As the SmackDown executive in charge of all things related to SmackDown. And he is as corrupt oh. an official oh. as I've ever seen in any sport. Disgusting. Any, any form of sport. I'm sorry? It's disgusting, I bet. I, I can't oh. take corruption up there, especially at the... It's, 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 it's repugnant. It's horrible. Horrible. So this, 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 all this, Nick Aldis guy, oh. who should be a James Bond villain... Wants to play a villainous James Bond. Oh. And he likes his little surreptitious, his little devices that he likes to fire back at us. And so far, mm -hmm. he's a worthy adversary. And he's been coming at us like, I don't know, if 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 if, if, Dave, if David Stern had a real bug up his ass against somebody, well, he could make their life, his their life miserable. Yeah, rest in peace. But the guy's been doing to us. Yeah. And he has a real, real problem with the tribal chief, Roman Reigns. The about Roman Reigns, though, is, and you know this better than anybody. Oh. Yeah. You're only as great as the opponents you put down. And the challengers that come after you. And the last time we were in a situation like this, Roman Reigns had to defend the title on WrestleMania against both Daniel Bryan and Edge, two Hall of Famers. What did Roman Reigns do? He stacked them. Smashed them, stacked them, and I forget what the bottom one was, but it was a great shirt. It was a great yeah. shirt. It was one of the greatest shirts of all time. Yeah, racked them. Yeah, there it is. That was it. Smashed them, stacked them, racked them. That was the end of it. Stacked them. That was it. The most de de declaratively def de de definitive finish in the history of a WrestleMania title match. Now, I'm not suggesting that Roman Reigns is going to stack AJ Styles, LA Knight, yeah, yeah, and Randy Orton. But I'm also not suggesting that he's not capable of doing it. Okay. So that might is be that the game plan. Might be giving away a strategy here. Whoa, might yeah. be giving away a strategy, wise man. You lost a tie. You let him get into this match. Now you're potentially giving away the game plan. You know what I mean? That's not good, Paul. Don't love it. AJ has a question for you. Paul, I know you said, uh, I don't know if you're giving breathing air to like the conspiracies of people out there, but I wonder, are, are any of those conspiracies ever been somewhat correct where people did guess uh, possible surprises or anything? And also, is there a chance Bob Backlund may run out in the nice. Rumble? We see him uh, he walking in. Okay. Backlund? Well, Bob yeah. Backlund's what, like Bob. 145 years old, number one. <laughs> he's in great shape. He's no, in better shape than 75% of the roster because he's that freaking crazy <laughs> Yeah. when it comes to his training. Valid. Those, the, those amateur wrestlers, they just don't know when to stop. Yeah. Um, I would hope that Bob Backlund's not in the Royal Rumble uh, <laughs> because, God forbid, he wins. And then poor Seth Rollins would have to defend his title against Backlund because <laughs> we'd have to pull some legal maneuver to get out of that. <laughs> and not because Roman Reigns is afraid of Bob Backlund, but there's just no box office in it. Yeah, no money, um, no money, no money. Else. As for conspiracy theories being correct, um, well... Mr. McAfee was uh, accused of a conspiracy theory a few weeks ago that I bet you is correct. Whoa. Joe Whoa. Rogan has been accused of conspiracy theories that I'm sure are correct. I mean, not about, you know, the no man on the moon, but there's a lot of things that Rogan has laid out there that... That's Probably are correct. Oh, whoa, uh, Paul, whoa! <laughs> Which one? USA. 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 We got somebody on the moon, yeah. Yeah, yeah for yeah. sure. In 79, I've, I've been accused internet. in my time of a few conspiracy theories, and maybe one or two of the 10,000 I've laid out there have been correct. Yeah, of course. Um, so, you know, listen, if, if you play a guessing game, at some point you're going to be right. If you give me 100 guesses as to how many points a football team can score, at some point I'm going to get it right. Well. Unless they score 101 points, Ooh, which tough. would be crazy. Yeah. Would you imagine for an NFL game? You get 100 guesses to guess how many points they're going to score. All right, give me one through 100. Brett. And then Patrick Mahomes somehow goes yep. out and scores 110 points. Damn it! This guy's an asshole. <laughs> uh, Paul, how long? Is that a spoiler? <laughs> no. No. No, it's just a prediction. Um, hey, uh, how many years have you been in the wrestling business? 
Odd. I broke in at 15 as a photographer in 1980. Yeah, but you weren't really a photographer, right? You used the photography to get into the room, right? And that you hustled your way into the room. Well, that, that's a conspiracy theory there. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, that's a matter of fact, if I do recall. Well, I, I became a performer at, at 21 in 1987. Okay, so 36 years you've been doing this, depending upon what time of the year it was, maybe 37, depending upon the starting date. Roman Reigns, like The Rock said it on first take the other day, and... That feels like that's cool. that would be big box office for old Paul Heyman and Roman Reigns. But The Rock said something about if there's a Mount Rushmore in wrestling, everybody has arguments on who's on it. He said we need to build another mountain to put Roman Reigns' face on it. So he has the utmost respect, obviously, for his cousin. I do believe Roman is Rock's cousin. Yes. Um, why is that? Why is Roman the greatest of all time? And uh, how do you feel about the current run where he has been champion for how many days? Oh, my God. We're approaching 1,300 now. Straight. Wow. 365 days in a year. Mm -hmm. Okay. In the and, world. And not that we just live. the days, but, but, but it's not like on a day that he, 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 he loses and then he, then he wins it back. And so, therefore, it's a consecutive day. It's, it, it, it's, it's, it's 1,300 undefeated micro moments of every single day. It, it, it's just, he, he's untouchable. Why? Uh, Roman Reigns is, is the greatest of all time. And deserves his own Mount Rushmore, because in the modern era, no one can hold the title this long. It's impossible. The, the system is not designed for that to happen. The same way the system is not designed through the Major League Baseball draft, the NBA draft, the NHL draft, the NFL draft, for a real dynasty to take place anymore. The, the 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 Chicago Bulls of of of, of the nineteen eighties, the, the New York Yankees of the of, of the nineteen twenties, the, the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Miami Dolphins and the Dallas Cowboys of the seventies and the early eighties. The, the, the game is not designed for that anymore. Nor is WWE. Maybe he doesn't want a champion for four years straight. They just don't. It's it's too dominant. It's it's too much of of this, and to focus on one talent. What happens if that if that talent says, well, my contract's coming up and, and I can't be beat and this is what I want? You have to give it to him because he's unbeatable, because he's the man. He's 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 the tribal chief. Well, so they, nobody nobody is supposed to become that powerful within WWE anymore. It, the system's just not designed for it. When Roman Reigns has bucked against the system and has maintained that level of dominance at the very top, where no one else is even in his stratosphere, let alone in his league, in an era where it's not supposed to happen. Now, back in the day of The Rock and Stone Cold Steve Austin and DX, it was supposed to happen. It was supposed to be a star. It was supposed to be a Hulk Hogan, a Bruno San Martino. And, and later on, a Rock, Austin, what? Triple H, what? Shawn Michaels, what? Right? Taker. What? That's not supposed to happen anymore. It's supposed to be spread out amongst the roster. That's why there's 30 men in the Royal Rumble competing with the mere, for the mere opportunity of cashing in that victory to face either Seth, Seth Rollins or Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. So Roman Reigns, to me, and to everyone else that has any semblance of intelligence is the greatest of all time and deserves his own Mount Rushmore. And I'd even throw the other four off their Mount Rushmore and put his face on that one, too. All four of them. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> so five Roman Reigns' faces on the side of mountains. Well, four on one, and then one on the other with, with, with just one, a little face with a little less of a double chin. Oh. Of his, of his, of his, okay, of so his like wise man. What are those called? What were those part of the Rockies we were on uh, when we were on out the boulder? Flat what are they, irons. What are they called? Flat irons. Yeah, but what's that called? Uh, those types of be, oh. before the mountain. Mm -hmm. There's uh, plateau. Plateau. No, no. no. Summit. Foothills. Foothills. Yeah, foothills. 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 There should be a Paul Heyman foothill. You're saying on the other side yeah. of that Mount Rushmore for Roman Reign. Oh, just for the de for demographic purposes of putting a little synagogue there. So then you get all the Hebrews that come. To, you know. <laughs> I love that. Uh, we have the yarmulke sales alone would be enormous, and I don't know how many yarmulkes you're selling the Dakotas right now. <laughs> I, you know, would you pick it up and move it? Would be the next question. If it did have a synagogue be a part of it to be, make it a little bit more 
uh, easy to travel to. I mean, that's a whole conversation you're going to have to have mm. someday whenever it's all said and done. We have a minute until a hard out on ESPN, but we'll continue on YouTube and ESPN+. Plus. So if I cut you off during your next great answer, understand that it's so I could say goodbye to people. Connor has... Been talking sound bites. Yeah, bingo. Well, Connor has a question for you that actually has a great setup. So I'm going to interrupt a great answer from you. It's just what I'm telling you right now. Yeah, wise man. Obviously, the road to WrestleMania starts Sunday, and that road ends in... Philadelphia. What can we expect out of Philly as far as atmospheres go in WrestleMania? Because LA is one thing, and that's where it was, and that was fantastic, unbelievable set. But Philadelphia as a whole is a completely different city. What do you think we're going to get out of that atmosphere from the Philadelphians, brother? Single greatest crowd in the history of WWE, an interactive audience the likes of which you've never seen. Imagine 100,000 people at the same time going to the Rocky Horror Picture Show. And that mosh pit will be in Philadelphia, April 6th and 7th for WrestleMania. Soundbite. Boom, baby. We're off ESPN. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow for a feel-good Friday. Be a friend. Tell a friend something nice. Nailed it. Professor. Wow. Obviously, yeah. you got history with Philadelphia. ECW. 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 And for the years that you've been in, we're good. We're still good. You're, we good. <laughs> You are the one, by the way. You are the one. I think everybody acknowledges that. But for the years you've been with the WWE, obviously the London crowds get a big pop. A lot of the European crowds get massive respect. I've had the opportunity to be in some places where, like, hey, it feels different. Mm -hmm. But to describe the Philadelphia crowd as the single greatest wrestling crowd is obviously a massive statement by somebody who's been around a long time. Is that because of the ECW days? You got to see it at its finest? Or has it rang true? basically throughout it all, and why are they such a good crowd, do you think? They're such a great crowd because they were they were trained to be by Paul Heyman, and they will continue on that legacy because they will have plenty of reason to stand, cheer, hoop, holler, stomp, and go crazy in acknowledgement of the greatness of their tribal chief, Roman Reigns. All right. Well, it sounds like you got it uh, figured out. Mm -hmm. We yeah. can't thank you enough for joining us. Um... You know, I'll be watching, and one of the things that is difficult to do is to focus on what's going on in the ring when your foothill ass is on the side of the mm -hmm. on the side there. You know, your facial expressions, your despair, your emotion, your energy, your excitement, buddy. I told you one time, I'm like, Paul, I want to let you know because you know that I'm a massive fan of yours, and you've helped me out immensely in every aspect of my profession, not just with this show, everything. You've literally helped me out with everything. I said, buddy, it's hard for me not to just say, well, Paul Heyman steals the show every time. You go, additive, additive, additive. I just want to add to the scene. You certainly do that. And anytime you want to come back and add to this program, we'd be incredibly grateful, Paul. Oh, cool. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Tomorrow's Friday. You ain't gonna see me anywhere. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna see me anywhere. <laughs>